situated right on the Continental Divide, which puts us square in the middle of some of the greatest recreational opportunities in the world. You can get out and camp. Within a half an hour, you can be out on uh, a mountaintop enjoying nature. There's always an adventure around the corner. We have access to the best skiing, the best fishing. We have a great trail system that the community has put a lot of resources into making it robust. Butte has become a place where Montana meets. We have Evil Knievel Days, which is a three-day festival that draws tens of thousands of local and um, uh, outside people to, to come celebrate. We had the National Folk Festival here for three years, which has now grown into the Montana Folk Festival, which draws over 100,000 people here each year. And there's a number of other festivals that uh, are, are established and getting going here. It's a great place to uh, live and raise a family, starting with the economics of our cost of living. I've been around, lived in uh, Washington, California, Colorado, um, and other places in Montana. And this is a great value here. Uh, the average home prices are below the national averages, but yet with that you get the great environment here. We looked around for a building to site our business in. We bought a building that still costs less than most people's homes. The cost of land, the cost of housing, is, is very, very reasonable. We're finding that uh, employees like to transfer here due to the cost. And when you combine that with the quality of life here, I don't think you can find a better community to live in. I think you can find a good fit in the education area in Butte. There are a lot of uh, public and private schools to choose from. When I started here as a small child, um, I was drafted into a program called the ALP, the Advanced Learners Program. This was at grade four, and I was learning French, and I was learning algebra at grade four. I have one, um, a daughter that graduated from Butte Central and a son that graduated from Butte High. He chose um, Butte High because he liked their auto mechanics and their welding school over there. My daughter did very well at Butte Central. It was a little smaller. She needed a little more um, direction and it worked out very well. Schools have been very, very good. I feel like my kids are challenged and they're doing very well. We boast one of the greatest small colleges in America and Montana Tech. It's a school that's recognized worldwide as one of the number one schools in engineering and mining technology. 85% uh, of our programs on the North Campus are are pretty hardcore science, technology, engineering, and math kinds of programs. It also offers everything from business to nursing programs and a new PhD program that's coming in. We don't have a lot of students that are coming to Montana Tech to just find themselves. Our students are coming to Montana Tech very purposefully to pursue a particular degree or an area of study. They're not just wondering why they're here, they're here because they want to be here. And I think the same is true for the faculty and staff. It definitely is a top of the line university located right here in our community. We're a very business friendly community. There's a camaraderie here that you won't find in other places. Um, we've received a lot of support through, uh, through the local government and local agencies. We received a great deal of support from the, from the state as well, um, as well as from the Small Business Administration. If you're thinking of starting a business, Butte is a great place. And one area that we're particularly strong in is manufacturing. MSC offers a lot of advantages to new and expanding manufacturing companies and we are trying to incubate new manufacturers and also help current manufacturers expand their business and ultimately bring more jobs to Butte. The Port of Montana is a Translo warehouse and distribution facility. Um, it provides a full service um, supply and distribution chain network for um, companies in the area so it helps you easily get to your global market to receive your products. We partner with Union Pacific for a General Motors automobile distribution center. So we distribute automobiles throughout the region. Um, and most recently we have the FedEx distribution facility. So we're sort of proving over and over that we truly are in a prime location for distribution. Butte, Montana is a hub for Montana and all the shipments come in and out of Montana come through Butte. Being located on Interstate I-90 and I-15 adds us a better advantage on our Butte market area and also it adds an advantage to our Canadian market into Alberta. Everything coming in and out of uh, Edmonton, Calgary uh, come through Butte. MERDI has the Technology Enterprise Center 
located in the Thornton Building in Uptown Butte. This data center enables digital technology and we are currently developing a fiber backbone which is going to assist in the development and the long-term needs for Butte's education and its economic development efforts. We do have the electrical capacity and the gas capacity for basically unlimited growth and hopefully the, the sky's the limit for Butte in the future. The services we provide, electric and natural gas, is an essential service that we've all come to uh, rely on and count on being there when we need it. Northwestern Energy is, is making a number of investments throughout its uh, Montana electric and natural gas service territory. So we're going to build a new general office building uh, in Uptown Butte. Uh, this building will serve uh, and support uh, 200 of our employees and provide them with a more uh, efficient and productive work environment. Pioneer was founded in 1991 by three individuals and we've grown to about 150 uh, employees. We will need to continue to grow. I think that means uh, maintaining our headquarters here and most of our core staff here. Mining uh, is the economic engine of Butte and always has been. Both Butte and Montana are great benefactors of the mine. And we do try to buy everything we can, either locally or within the state. Last year, we spent $26 million in the Butte area in purchase orders. That's just in Butte. But we have a very stable workforce, right around 350 employees. It was the economic summit that Senator Bacchus uh, promoted, where we were allowed to network with the CEO, the actual CEO of GE at that summit that really helped facilitate and spur the negotiations on to now where the CEO of GE is a, a proponent of this site out here in Butte, Montana. For a lot of people who are thinking about moving to Butte, you can't find a better place to, to raise kids. We can take the kids and in 20 minutes we can be in a river, we can be on a mountain. One of the most appealing things about Butte to me and my family is it's such a, it's such a close-knit community. We're definitely community-driven. Um, people in Butte are passionate about Butte and about other people here. This town is made up of all ethnic groups from all over the world, and I think it gives a great perspective on people getting along on this earth and contributing to each other and making a city what you want to make it. Uh, I've heard the GE people out of the CCAS project really compliment the people that are working out there versus other plants they have around the world, that there's a, a real sense of value here. Um, it's, the, it's the friendliest, most welcoming place I could imagine living, and I absolutely wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I, I don't think I'm being biased with this at all. If I really had to look at any place and I had choices where to live, here it is in Butte, Montana.